The first time I ever saw Joey was in 2017 at a friend's birthday party. I very vividly remember him standing there, and it's a happy memory. After uh, you know, a drink or two, I kind of glanced over and just saw, uh, saw her standing over there and just you know, remarked at how beautiful she was. And I uh, don't exactly remember how I got the, the courage to make my way over, but made my way over and uh, yeah, so hit it off from there. Joey says that he came up to me first at the party, but I know I came up to him and started talking to him. Our first date, technically, uh, would have been uh, the morning after the night we met. Uh, we got Starbucks uh, in DuPont Circle. Well, we dated for about four months. I had planned when I met him that I'd be moving to New York for work. He was moving to Richmond, so it kind of fizzled out. It was just the right person but the wrong time. I remember really liking Joey, and I was surprised when I asked Kelsey later on how he was doing, and she said she hadn't been in touch with him lately. We found out that me and Joey lived on the same block. Talk about a small world. So we would run into each other often. It may, always made an impression on me that he would still stop and chat and say hello. You know, over the years, um, I'd, I'd always, you know, remember Kelsey, thought about her, um, you know, kind of off and on. I would see her kind of cousin Rachel around, and, you know, obviously that, you know, made me think about her. And So five years later, we were, you know, catching up mainly through texting, and that became calls, and that became FaceTime. And I don't think either of us expected that. When Joey came back into her life, it didn't take too many phone calls to know that she had found it, her other person. A man committed and loving, strong but not in her way, open and vulnerable in a way a real man should be. I got to hear her fall in love over the phone, sometimes reminding her that it's okay to fall. He is different and he will catch her. And he did. But I very vividly remember, um, I'll get emotional, it, um, I had moved home because I was really sick and something that I had been dealing with for a long time and so I felt that was a lot to, you know, ask somebody how um, we were dating. So he just said, I'm all in, you know, and um, I just knew. Here's to taking a chance on reconnecting with someone from your past and letting someone in at what may not seem like the right time. Because you never know how taking that chance might change your life forever. Well, Kelsey and Joey, this is a wonderful and exciting day. You've come here to formally pledge your lifelong love and devotion to each other. Each of you has decided that one of the things you're going to do with your one wild and precious life is to love each other without condition. Just think of how amazing it is that there's another person who walks this planet who is crazy enough to make this kind of commitment to you. What greater gift could we receive? As I look at you today, it's as clear as ever that you're the love of my life, even though I had a pretty good idea when I first caught your glance at that happenstance meeting six years ago. The first time I saw you, in that cute gray sweater and a beer in your hand, <laughs> I was taken by you. Your kindness and your character were radiant. You are the most thoughtful and loving man I have ever had the privilege of knowing. I'm so grateful that life let me find you twice. In part, today is so special because as a younger man, or more accurately, an older boy, <laughs> I used to envision having this moment with you someday in the future, even back then as I grew to realize that any such future was much less close and perhaps even less likely than I would have wanted. I knew I would spend my life with you long ago on a FaceTime call before we had even seen each other in person in over five years. So let today be an outward expression of the commitment that we have already made and felt. I vow to care for you when you're sick or just make or order dinner when you're feeling tired. And on that note, I promise to always have a good job working for the man that provides us good health insurance. <laughs> 
yourself. <laughs> to encourage you in pursuit of your goals, to always plan a spontaneous date night here and there, and to be a steadying presence for you in a rocky world. I love you unconditionally. I'm so grateful for all you do for me and can't wait to continue the rest of my life with you by my side. I vow to be your biggest cheerleader and truest teammate. I vow to never leave you when life gets hard. Love is a verb. Love is consistency and a choice. Love is showing up for your chosen family over and over again. So I vow in this one wild and precious life, I will choose you today. Oh my love. Ribbing the wall since you felt like this, 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 Ribbing the wall since you felt like this, this, Ribbing the wall since you felt like this, 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 I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together. Let no one put asunder. Amen. I could not be happier for you both. This type of love is a treasure. Kelsey, you have always been magic. And now you have a partner to build your wild and precious life with? To you both, to a lifetime of laughter and choosing one another every day. I love you.